planting some annual ryegrass today. Let me get me a box cutter and I'll show you what we're doing here. How y'all doing? This right here, my friends, is ryegrass seed. This is an annual ryegrass. And well, we always refer to it as our winter grass. And so what we're doing today is we're gonna spread ourselves ah, these three bags across this pasture right over here. The reason I wanna do it today, it's getting kinda late, is that uh, we're gonna get some rain tonight. And we're having the temperatures in our 60s and 70s, which is a really nice temperature to get this uh, seed to germinate. So you guys come hang out for a little bit. Let's spread some seed, shall we? Let's spread some seed. That sounds like a lot of fun. These are some happy girls. So I've come out to do my morning feed up and only two of my cows have come up. That's a little bit worrisome because I have seven more running around somewhere. I don't know their whereabouts. Uh, all of the bulls are here, obviously. They have nowhere to go. <laughs> they can't go to the woods. All the birds are here. So we're going to drive down now if you want to come with me and find out where all of my other cows are at. Uh, make sure that Ruby and Danny are okay. There's all my dogs. Yeah, normally there's a routine. And all of the cows are, you know, they're kind of sticklers for a routine. We're very consistent. Well, there's Danny right here on the back of the tractor. There's Ruby and there's our little goats. All right, so now we're only down five. We're, we're down five cows. And we're gonna swing around back here and try to find those five. I'm not sure where they're gonna be. I'm gonna locate them over the uh, edge of the hill first before I open gates and drive down. But, uh, and I'm not concerned, y'all. We're not concerned about something bad happening. I don't see them anywhere. I do not see them anywhere. It is a doozy of a day as far as wind goes. We have a lot of wind blowing through here, so the quality of video audio the quality of the audio might be bad. I will apply my little audio noise reduction filter. It's gonna make my voice sound weird, but it will take a lot of the wind noise out. All right, so we're gonna drive down and try to locate my cows. You guys come with me, huh? Here we go, and here we go. Well, that wasn't hard at all. I was worried about you guys. You didn't come up for breakfast, so I had to bring it to you. Look, uh, so we're still missing two. We're still missing two. Uh, I didn't bring grains. I'll tell you what, I would have never thought they would have been that direction. Hey, take it easy. Jolene, let her eat. She's a little girl. You have to let her eat. Mama's trying to protect her. And, uh, I'm gonna drop off here, lovely. 
there's we don't feed grains in the mornings we don't have to now we'll sometimes we did during the drought but we have a little bit of grass growing now i'll tell you what i never thought that i would see the cows off in that direction and i'm going to show you what oh my gosh here comes the other two i'm going to show you why this is this surprises me because there's a ravine they had to go down through they're coming to that ravine right now and i never thought they would cross that ravine and here they come up down and up wow i'll tell you what that really surprised me i thought that they would find come on suck 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 so yeah this is jezebel and maryland and i never thought they would have been that direction which which really does surprise me i'm glad they came out when they heard my four wheeler and i'm glad they're able to find stuff to eat but that ravine is pretty treacherous and i am really shocked here, Marilyn, come over here, love. I am really shocked they would have gone down through there. Here. Doesn't it seem like they're acting like they're all in trouble and they're not? You're not in trouble. You're not in trouble, y'all. I didn't bring grains. I just brought green hay to give y'all a little bit of nutrition in your bellies. And I have a flake for everybody. Everybody has their very own flake. Okay. All right, all is good. There's a, we're not missing any cows. They've just been doing what they have to do. Look how healthy they all look, my friends. And uh, despite the fact that we have very, now she seems to be startled by something or just agitated. But uh, they look really good, despite the fact that there's no grass in their pasture. They're doing so good over here, eating off of just the things that Mother Nature provides. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw out a little bit extra just to kind of keep them separated because she seems like she wants to fight today. So I'll walk over here, put one more flake down. Look, you don't want them all fighting. There we go. So now there's an extra flake laying there. Uh, before I leave you this morning, uh, well, number one, thank you for coming with me to find the cows. Let me walk over and show you that particular ravine that they're crawling through. Now, you might remember from a couple of weeks back, I talked about letting the cows come back here and how it wasn't that big of a concern of mine because there's really nowhere to go. I don't think they'll cross the river. And these ridges along through here run just forever. And we even took a walk that way as far as our property line extends. And I showed you there's no fencing. They could actually continue on past our property line. But the cows are not going to get lost. They're not going to get lost. They're going to come back and eat. So to wake up this morning and to start feeding... And to realize there's no cows, well, only two come up to eat, worried me. Um, I don't want to say treacherous. It's not treacherous necessarily, but it's a ravine that I did not think. I thought it would offer enough of a natural, uh, so many, you know, fallen limbs and terrain, steep terrain, that they would not choose to come down through here. I didn't think there'd be a reason to, but obviously they are. And then when they get over here, they're working themselves up these, these ridges here. Look at that. They're climbing up through there. And everyone knows, you can see our fence line up there. Everyone knows how, how steep these ridges are. And for those cows to be working themselves around these hills is just remarkable. But they're doing it to make sure they can keep their bellies full. And for that, you just love them. You do, for that, you love them. Especially the fact that we have no grass on our pastures whatsoever. It will only become a problem if they end up going so far that they end up uh, you know, finding someone else's property. Now, Mr. Marshall and Mr. Kinney 
or two of our neighbors who they would run across first. What is she up to? There's something going on with her. This is Marilyn. And she is particularly agitated by something. So look who I found up on the top of the hill. These two sweet ladies. And they're being angels. They're over here eating a little bit of green stuff, trying to forage. They already had their bottles. And uh, they're gonna do their part to become big girls, but they're gonna take their sweet time. Could y'all just like hang out more with Jolene because she's a sweet one? Whatever you do, do not hang out around Aunt Marilyn, the wicked ways of the world. And y'all don't wanna be wicked. Nuh-uh, I do not want y'all to become two more hussies. Not y'all, cause y'all are too sweet to be hussies. And now you can hear Tex screaming and he's saying the same thing. Don't be hussies, don't be no hussies. What's that shirt say? Morals over hussies. That's right, y'all. Morals over hussies, just like Granny says. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.